I remember the first shot in front of the camera. I was so nervous. I didn't know what what I was doing. Especially back then, you know, the technologies of filmmaking was so primitive. One camera, no playback, uh, static. Place the camera there. Do your thing. Kung Fu movies, you don't have to act. <laughs> you just, you just, from 6 o'clock, throw the same punch until the sun, the sun comes down. You know, it's just <laughs> repetitious, repetitious. And Kung Fu movies back then, the way they were disciplined, directors and actors, the relationship, no questions. Very military-like. Just do this. They don't teach you how to do it. You learn it by being screamed at. So that's what it was like. Yeah, it training was exactly. Under it was, it was following really, orders. It was really, it was really frustrating in the, in, the, in the beginning. It was like I didn't know what, what I was doing. You know, I think that's why it took me a long time for me to understand the importance of being a real actor. It sounds like in your earlier years you were focused on the technical aspects right. of the film trade, right. and then you focused on the artistry. Right. Uh, all along, we mentioned his name earlier, you said that your icon is Bruce Lee. Right. So in your early years, did you study any of his films in particular, one particular film? Everybody knows he only made four films, right? It wasn't the, it wasn't the film techniques that he gave us, but it was his thinking, his, the way he blend his martial arts philosophy as well as how he sees martial arts films, the future, you know, that helped a lot, that kind of plan not just for me, I think for a lot of uh, uh, many, many uh, filmmakers who, who particularly uh, f love action movies, his influence is like, is um, replaceable. Mm -hmm.